Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials. Welcome to your 25th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the alignment tool in GIMP. So let's get started. First, go to the toolbox over here and click on the alignment tool. And you're going to see some stuff pop up in tool options. But before I get into that, I want to tell you that I have a normal image of a light switch right here. But then I got three other pictures that are exactly 800 by 800 pixels long and wide. So that's kind of going to be really important in a little bit, but don't worry about it for now. So anyway, let me see. I guess I'll just click on this one. So anyway, to use the alignment tool, what it's going to do is it's going to take an, a layer and then it's going to align it relative to another layer or you know some other cool things you can do but anyway yeah that's the main idea of it so first go choose let's just do image for now just go to re relative to image and there are going to be the top there are six buttons right here I'm going to start talking about these now because they are completely different than these ones down here even though they look the same. I'm going to tell you why in a bit. But anyway, if you start clicking these buttons right here, these six at the top, you're going to see that it's going to align it to the left edge of the target, which you can choose the target in here. So the target is the image. Oh, whoops. I actually forgot to mention you have to click with the alignment tool on whatever you want to align to something. So if you want to align this picture to the rest of the image, you need to click on this picture and you're going to see these four little squares in each corner of the selected layer. So anyway, if you hit align to the left, it's going to go all the way to the left. Now, if you do the right, it's going to do the opposite. You can do down, up, and then you can even do a line in the middle and the middle. So this is really helpful for putting things exactly in the middle of other things. That's nice. And another thing I want to start talking about is these things. These are the distribute alignment buttons. These are different than the regular alignment buttons up here. What they do is they're, they are the exact same thing but you can choose an offset. Now, remember when I said that the pictures were 800 by 800? Well, that's kind of going to come in handy because I can just put in 800. And now if I do this, you're going to see that it is exactly like you could just take another one of these pictures and put it in between. It's 800 pixels away from the edge, 800 pixels away from this edge too. But if you can if you click to the right or down, you're going to see that it goes outside of the bounds. So yeah, you can kind of see that. So another way to do this, if you want to align it away from the right edge or the bottom edge is you can make a negative offset. So if I, whoops, if I do negative 800, now what it's going to do is it's going to move it away from these edges so and if I click on the left or up it's going to go out of bounds there so just always remember to keep that in mind when you're working with the distribute buttons you can always have a negative offset so anyway moving on this is kinda gonna get a little bit more tricky from here let me see so yeah so let me see oh yeah you can make align it relative to a selection you make. So if I make a selection and I'm not trying to select the actual picture. So if I do this and I align it, it's going to go inside the selection and then align itself perfectly. And what happens if I invert the selection? So, oh, if I invert the selection, I guess it just goes everywhere else. So if I go here, I see how it does that. Okay. Wow. That's weird. So yeah, that's really weird. Anyway, 
so you can align it with the selection and you can have offsets too if you want and then there is I did these two how about first item so now you can actually align multiple layers at once the way to do this is you have to click on one the first one like remember the order in which you click so if you click on this one first shift click on another one and then another one let's say and remember to have the offset to you know whatever you want I'm just gonna have 800 because it'll come in handy if I align them all to the right it's going to align it to the right of the first thing I clicked on because it's the first item when I was making those selections now if I had done image it would have gone to that side of the image and if I align it relative to the image and I just put everything in the center it's going to squeeze itself in there so if you do first item whoops actually yeah if you do first item then you can click on distribute and what this is going to do is it's going to distribute everything with an offset of 800 but it's going to keep adding like it won't keep adding an offset I guess but it's going to make each individual item exactly a certain offset from the previous one so yeah that's really that really comes in handy when you want a bunch of things in a row and another thing I want to talk about is that let's say you want to change the order let's say you want this picture then the profile picture and then this other really weird looking thing um, what you need to do is you need to take the alignment tool click on the first one you want then shift click on the second one and the third one you want let's say and then once you hit distribute whoops wait did I do that right oh yeah so now the profile picture I guess I had to like you know click around a bit for it to reset or something but anyway you can see now it is this picture then the profile picture and then the this other picture so that's nice you can change the order you don't always have to accept whatever order it's in and also so that's relative to the first item it's just the first item you click on that becomes the first item and then everything from there becomes the second item after you click on the second thing and so on and so on so yeah so then there is uh, three more things active layer active channel and active path so if I do active layer what this is going to do is it's going to align it literally to the active layer so let's say I click on this cool profile picture and then I click on this other weird thing so if I align it to the active layer you, you can see that it's going to you know do that so anyway whoops so oh I didn't mean to click there but anyway you're going to see that it'll go to the active layer if I make this layer the active layer it's going to go to the other layer it's pretty you know self-explanatory anyway these other two active channel and active path I actually cannot find any explanation for what they do I guess I tr actually tried using both of them once I can't find any documentation anywhere on how to use active path or active channel and actually I read in an ebook on the internet that back in 2.4 GIMP they had these features but they didn't work even then so I guess like I guess they just are unusable so I think that is it for this tutorial if there's any questions leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one